Today is gonna be so fun. We are crafting it up today. We have a box that we've already painted. We haven't put the frame on yet. I'll explain in a second. And then we have a whole box of goodies. Let's get right into it. <laughs> one of those book alley book nook type of things but I didn't want to buy one instead I thought that it would be fun to kind of make one I am using everything from Michaels like the craft store and this is what I came up with so the first thing that I have is this wooden box now this did have a wooden top on it but Sal carved it off it's one of those boxes with like a lid you know but I took off the screws I took off everything and then I painted this to be white, and then I painted the outside of this to be brown, and then the floor to be brown. The majority of the book nooks that I see, and I think that that's the correct term, are normally like alleys, like alleyways, so they're normally only about this wide or this wide. I figured, you know what, like I was, I was walking around Michael's trying to find something that was about the height of a book, and this box was the best that I could find, and I was like, you know what, I wouldn't mind it being wide and almost the width of a normal book anyway i wanted to make it cozy and fall like we also have a hot glue gun sitting next to me heating up as we speak so for the walls i was trying to come up with some type of like texture or something and instead uh i had sal print out and of course there's a red line down the center of it so we're gonna have to get real crafty with this a white brick pattern to kind of add some texture to the walls and then let me show you the rest of what we have to decorate i'm so excited so we have a little white chair and a little white table that'd be so cute we have some shelves that we may or may not put in i haven't decided yet we also have this little mirror which is adorable and it you know it'll take up some wall space we have a little lamp that i actually ended up painting the legs on it because i'm not it's funny because like I'm not a very big gold person, but I'm keeping this gold because this was a lot of work. <laughs> anyway, we have this pretty modern lamp. We have a fireplace that I painted green. It was originally this wooden color, but I was like, you know what, green wrapped together. I really like the color green and I feel like it's almost like a neutral. And then we have, we have the cutest little cup of coffee with a little spoon that's gonna go on the table. And then what else is gonna go on the table is this book. It's pink and it says old fairy tales. Now, is this not so on brand for me? Like big Disney lover, big book lover. And then we just have a ton of books. I think I ended up buying like three different packs of books to kind of make sure that we had enough. So we have all of these little books that I will somehow stack together. And we also have a little broom. I wanted a little nod to Harry Potter since the majority of the book nooks are actually Harry Potter themed. So I just thought that the little brooms would be a nice little hint at that in a spooky season. And then last but not least, I found little pumpkins. <laughs> like, are these not so cute? I'm so excited to use these. So we have two large ones that look like this. And then we have three tiny ones that just have really adorable faces, which are just so cute. That is what I have. We are going to make a little scene. So I've actually like set it up to I think how I want it. So I think we want to put the fireplace somewhere over here and then the lamp over here and then the table and chairs and then maybe like books on the fireplace. The mirror obviously up here um and then i guess we'll just kind of place everything else first things first though we have to figure out how to get this brick wall onto the wall so we have a ton of paper so we're just going to get to cutting and now i'm definitely most certainly not expecting this to come out perfectly because this is my first book nook i don't know i thought it'd be fun I think we're gonna glue this piece in. I'm like nervous. Hot glue gun probably isn't the best choice. If I had like regular glue, that's what I would use. But since we don't have that, and you know what? Maybe it'll add a little texture. And luckily it's brick, so like really, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Okay. I mean, so far I think it's looking pretty good. 
Okay, please ignore the shadows because obviously it's not perfect, but like, that's so cute. It has so much texture. I think it's cute. I kind of only want to keep the back wall brick because I feel like it's just unnecessary on the sides. Now that that is done, we can get to the fun part. I've been like working on this for so long. Like I started painting it weeks ago and I just kept putting off putting it together because I wanted to film it. I think first we should put the fireplace in because I think I know exactly where I want that to go unless we want to do this side. What do we want? This side. Also, can we talk about this mug? He's also from Michael's, oddly enough. I'm kind of just like restructuring the layout that I want. Okay, I apologize. This isn't the best angle. My camera overheated and needs a minute to chill, but we're thinking something like this. Please ignore the crease that you can see. This is so cute. I love this little coffee. The vibe I'm feeling. Yay, we should have the mirror in. How cute. Our first piece of decor, adorable. I really wanna do the little fireplace. So first we're gonna put it on the ground part and we're also gonna put it on the wall part. Let's do this. Oh, no. How cute. It's getting somewhere. Yay. All right, next, lamp. Very like, discreetly do the feet. All right, all right, all right. We're going it, we're going it. All right, we pushed in. Hopefully that uh, gets it to stay. It looks like a little dollhouse. It's so cute. I'm feeling good. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. Next, I feel like we should do the shelf next. Get it over with. I'm very nervous. So I want to do a little shelf, but I feel like first should I decorate the shelf? So we have all of these books that I want to use. That one's going to go over there. We want to stack a couple. So far, we have one book. I'm just going to do another. Okay, friends, so this is where we're at so far. Right now, I'm in the middle of designing the shelf to have books leaning on it. Okay, so I think we have our shelf done. So the shelf is done. Now, um, now we're just gonna put it in, and then later on, we'll throw some pumpkins on it. So to figure out where I know where I want it to go. So nervous. We have the corner glue on. Oh my gosh. It's hanging there. It's doing great. Okay. It's going a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> okay, so next we are going to glue our little books together. So we're gonna do green. First we have these two together. So far they look so cute, just stacked together. Okay, so these ones are officially glue together. I'm just gonna add the purple one to be leaning on it. Okay. I think they're looking good. So now we just have to add it to the fireplace. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so cute. This is gonna look so cute. I know the book isn't leaning as much as I was wanting it to, but that's okay. That's so cute. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, so next, while that sits, actually, we're gonna do it this way in case that shelf wants to readjust. Um, okay, so how we're gonna be sitting the table in here is we need the book on the outside and the coffee on the inside. So we're gonna do the little coffee cup. It's so cute, it's so tiny. And then the book. Stop it right now, this is so adorable. Now it's officially time to put this on. So we're gonna glue the frame around it. Now with hot glue guns, you kind of have to move fast because they, I feel like, dry very fast. So I'm trying to move quickly. All right. She's on there. It's a whole scene. Okay, now we're gonna put in the table and chairs. Let me place the broom. We're putting the broom in a little corner. It's getting cuter. I'm so excited. Wow, it's starting to look cozy. I just realized I think that's it for gluing because now, now we get to do the fun part. I'm not gonna glue in my pumpkins. I was originally going to, but 
had a change of heart. It would make sense to just like keep it year round and just decorate it. This is what she'll look like normally. Is this not so cute? I don't know if that top shelf is gonna be super sturdy, but we can do a pumpkin up there, pumpkin up here, another one over there. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. Are we ready? I hope they stayed when I did that. Guys, guys, we did it. We finally did it. My book nook is done and it is so cute. What a cute thing. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. My heart, my whole heart. <laughs>